Hello everyone, welcome back. Do you know that with the help of ChatGPT, you can become a data analyst? Because you need not to learn different materials or you need not to go for different learning centers to upgrade yourself as a data analyst. With the help of ChatGPT, you can analyze your data and you can understand a lot of trends and you can understand the like EDA or you can understand the visualization. So now let's see. OK, with the help of a demo, how we can uh, uh, make use of chat GPT for uh, data analysis. OK, nine rupees, nine rupees cannot even buy you a packet of chips. But what if I tell you nine rupees can save your job? What if I tell you nine rupees can get you salary hike? What if I tell you nine rupees can build your career in better way? Sounds too good to be true, right? So this is my Excel sheet. OK, so I will be using this for the demo purpose. Uh, it has user ID, gender, age, estimated salary, and purchase count. Okay. So I took it from Kaggle. You can uh, use your own sheets uh, for uh, exploration purpose and for uh, data analytics just to understand. Okay. This is meant for like, it is like a social network ads. It's common, right? Most of the people when they are becoming a data analyst or a data scientist aspirant, they might have used this type of uh, data so i am also using for familiarity okay so here is the our chat gpt okay so i am going i'll be there is attached attachment so i'm attaching here okay social network ads csv it has been attached now i am going to give the prompt okay the way you enter the prompt that speaks a lot that's what prompt uh, engineering or prompt writing is essential okay we should know how to write the prompts because the uh, AI tool like chat GPT, it should understand what I am conveying. Okay, so you should learn this uh, prompt engineering and prompt learning for to be uh, better in your uh, future. An important update, as you all are aware that AI is taking over the world. In such a short span of time, we have seen so many layoffs, millions of jobs replaced by AI. And you don't want to get affected by this recession wave. Well, AA won't replace you, but the person using AA will replace your job. So if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career, join our three hours AA tools workshop in which we will teach you about the best AA tools to upskill, increase your productivity and enhance your career. All the installation steps and other AA tools will be explained detailed in our B10X program. Make your future secure with us join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description now so go to this this is our link okay so if you you will come to this page okay and uh, like uh, whichever there like uh, if you want to go for power bi mastery and uh, other workshops like ea tools workshop and uh, office hacks means you should go to register to this place Okay, and you will know when you will be the next workshop. Like, okay, it'll, okay and uh, you can see the testimonials and the review comments and why to join this course. All these details are there. Okay, so definitely it will make you 10x. So don't miss to join this workshop, guys. Yeah, okay. So let's uh, go over here. I am now, let's, I will type it. Okay, so like the details, I will give like details. Details attached above. Need to find the because I need to find the trends with the data, right? So need to find the trends with the data. And what else I need to find? I because it has to be clean and it has to format, all right? For the data analysis. So I am asking that I need to clean and format this data for analysis. Okay. Because cleaning is essential, guys, because like uh, whatever we are going to do the analysis, right? It should be clean. Then only it can give the accurate result. Okay. It's, uh, but we have chat GPT. We need not worry about that. Okay. So I am giving here. So chat GPT is giving. I will start by examining the contents of the uploaded CV file to understand its structure and the type of data it contains. This will help in determining the necessary steps for cleaning and formatting the data for analysis. Okay. 
So as I said, okay, this is also same rate, unique user ID, gender, age, estimated salary, and purchase. This only is available here also, right? User ID, gender, the age of the user, estimated salary, a binary indicator, zero or one, where one indicates the user has made a purchase, okay? Checking, so before we proceed with the cleaning data and formatting, here are some typical steps, okay? Checking for missing values, right? We need to find, right? And uh, because missing values also can create uh, different uh, issues, right? For example, if there is no, or like uh, in this case, okay, if there is no user ID, what is the need, right? If there is an employee or if there is a customer, when they're registering, he must have some unique ID, right? So we need to check that. If it is mistakenly, if it is missed, the result will be different, right? And it, we may not get the exact uh, understanding, okay? So data type of, uh, conversion that each column is appropriate, converting gender to categorical if necessary, and outlier detection and handling, encoding categorical values, okay? So let's start by checking for the missing values and reviewing the data types of each column, okay? So user ID, it made us, the data set has no missing value, okay? So we are good to go. In case if you want to explore with the missing values, you can remove some of the uh, rows, okay? So that what uh, chat GPT is giving you. So that, okay, because by making mistakes only, we will learn many things, guys, okay? Which is for great for our analysis. Okay, so it has given like user ID, it made it as integer, gender as object. Object means it is like a string, okay? So converting gender to categorical, although gender is category currently recognized as an object, which typically means text or mixer type in Pandas. For analysis purpose, it could be beneficial to convert it to categorical type, fine. Okay, no need for user ID in analysis, it's not relevant, okay? So let's perform these formatting steps the gender column has been successfully converted to categorical type okay so descriptive so when with the data cleaned and formatted we can proceed to analyze the trends okay now only we are coming into the actual thing descriptive statistics understanding the central tendency dispersion and shape of the data set distribution of variables okay so it is giving all the thing the descriptive statistics provide insight of the data set okay correlations okay and uh, like numerical columns, these are the part actually, okay? So next we can visualize the distribution of age and estimated salary in relation to the purchased outcome and explore any correlation between these variables. Would you like to proceed with visualization, okay? Uh, I am giving yes, okay? Yes. Because visualization will give the pictorial representation of the data, okay? Rather than understanding the formulas or understanding the data in the sheet, this will help to by looking at the what to say like uh, um, the the picture we can come to know where are we okay. yes please proceed with session with the proper diagrams and uh, required charts see It's still analyzing. See, guys, it has given the diagram, right? Age distributed by purchase status, okay? And uh, like uh, first is age distributed by purchase status. I can save this image, okay? So that is an estimated salary distribution by purchase status, okay? And age distributed by gender and purchase status, okay? So it has given these findings suggest that age might be more influential factor in determining the purchasing obviously true no guys a young guy all right uh, 30 to what to say 40 he will be a salaried uh, employee salaried uh, aged uh, person so 
he will spend little more than the senior citizens, right? So that's the thing it is giving, right? Salary also plays a role, especially at higher incomes. Would you like to explore any specific trends further? Is there another type of analysis you are interested in? Uh, we will explore, yes. Explore further in, okay, explore further. That is a EDA, like exploratory data analysis. But let's see how it is uh, providing us. Say correlation analysis there, okay. Examine the correlation between age, estimated salary, and the purchasing decision, okay. So let's start with the correlation analysis, purchasing behavior by gender. See guys, correlation. Okay, you might be knowing, right? If uh, if you are studied, right? The purchased and estimated salary is here. And uh, this, so if it is like a positive means it is good, negative means, right? If it is, it will be bad, but all are in a good shape actually, right? This is the correlation matrix, okay? There is a most modest positive correlation between age and uh, purchase C R is equal to 0 0.62 with this and this age and purchased purchased with estimated salary 0 0.36 okay estimated salary and purchased okay so purchasing behavior by gender more closely to see if there are any specific trends that differentiate male and female purchasing patterns okay let's see whether male dominance or female dominance in this case if there are any specific trends This is like a box plot, third one. Okay, but it is a little congested. Okay, let that is fine actually. Let examine. It is a if you download and if you uh, if you can make the chart size more, it will give actually. Okay, so grouping age and salaries, estimated salary in bins. Okay. Let's proceed by creating age and salary bins. So overall, guys, okay, now you understood, right? So with the help of this chat GPT also, you can learn many things, right? You can ask, for example, uh, you may uh, like correlation, okay? What is correlation analysis? You may not be knowing what is correlation analysis, okay? You can give in chat GPT. I, I am not aware of like a correlation analysis. Can you help me with an example? Like what is correlation example, correlation analysis? With the help of a basic example, right? First, we should go with in terms of basic example, okay? So this is the way, guys, that you should use the chat GPT, okay? So I hope you enjoy this session. Thank you.